What's up guys on the Action channel and I want to talk about the PlayStation 5 presentation reveal uh, which was two days ago. So, after that presentation I was disappointed. I was disappointed because I expected they will show us some cool triple A project uh, ex PlayStation 5 exclusive that will show us uh, the, at least the potential of next generation of console. But what we what we saw there we saw so many indie games most some of them were trash like really trash games how they even appeared there i don't get it probably i don't know probably playstation uh, has the hard times sony i guess because they put come on that's abnormal that's abnormal to put so many indie trash uh, some uh, games so, uh, and we, we saw only three PlayStation 5 exclusives, that's Ratchet and Clank, that's Horizon Zero Dawn 2, and new IP from Square Enix, uh, without proper gameplay, it looked like Final Fantasy 15, so I don't get it, uh, why, why it, it will be on for PlayStation 5, but anyway, mm, we, we've seen the Ratchet and Clank gameplay, which looks cool, which looks interesting, which uh, showing us the SSD power, yay! Um, but no dates, no um, gameplay for Horizon Zero Dawn 2, only cinematic, uh, uh, okay. Uh, no system sellers at the start, no system sellers at the start. And that's the question, how is it possible? Probably they keep something for the next presentation when they will reveal the um, PlayStation 5 features, the user interface, uh, some cool stuff. Maybe, maybe at that presentation when they will reveal the price, perhaps. Uh, but from those amount of games that that been showed us on the presentation, only one. It's Ratchet and Clank. Huh? Without proper date huh that's weird that's weird uh, so the PlayStation 5 is already like a Nintendo switch where you will play games with the graphics for Nintendo switch you buy a console to play with the what with the graphics like in on Nintendo switch and in the games really why people buying PlayStation 5 or PlayStation? Because mostly because of exclusives. Mostly because of exclusives. And they they didn't reveal any any powerful exclusive at the start of the sales. Weird. I compare it with the PlayStation 4 presentation. And at that presentation, they revealed five exclusives. Killzone Shadowfall, Infamous Second Son, uh, Deep Down, mm, Final Fantasy XV, and uh, Neck, or Knock. Yeah, so these five uh, titles, uh, exclusives for PlayStation 4. And you can see what type of uh, graphics uh, in there, how the particles uh, works, Unreal Engine 4, all that stuff. So that was a real new generation. Here we have what? What we have here? Indie, indie trash? We have cool design. Cool design, but design without the cool games, what's the point then? All these games that have been shown, uh, it is possible to play on PlayStation 4 without any problems. Indie games, come on. Uh, Resident Evil 8, uh, Demon's Souls remake, all new IPs, the uh, fun, whatever, uh, Phantasma or some kind of like that, uh, will be available on different platforms as well. So if you buy, if you wanted to buy PlayStation 5 right after the presentation, you probably wanted to buy it just because it looks cool. Just because it looks cool, that's all, that's the only explanation. Or you uh, want to play GTA 5 online. <laughs> yeah.
Yo, that, that no other explanation. No powerful IPs at the start. No system sellers at the start. At least if judging by this presentation. Uh, design. Let's talk about design. Design looks good. Really, design looks good. But but uh, we don't know inside what's inside of PlayStation Five. Uh, is if it will be enough to for a cooling system to cool the overclocked GPU CPU because in PlayStation 5 uh, they overclocked the GPU um, to boost um, to 10 teraflops yeah they overclocked so that's even they should they have to put even more powerful cooling system uh, in such a thin um, design. I don't know. I don't know what will be on summer because I heard that PlayStation 4 overheated uh, really often. Uh, PlayStation 4, not PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, but maybe some PlayStation 4 Pro. But mo I heard mostly about PlayStation 4 or uh, the PlayStation 4 uh, noisy, m much noisy. So we don't know what will be about noise and temperature and what it will be on summer when it will be heat huh? design yeah but what about the cooling system we don't know yet next uh we don't know what the features of playstation 5 okay wait for the next presentation uh we know only one that the price for playstation 5 will be uh, high will be high so playstation 5 will be expensive but anyway, um, that's still only design. Not uh, that's not enough for me. That's not enough for me. I want to see some games, some games that yo I wanna I wanna play this game. Yeah, really, really. But I haven't seen the stuff. In compare with PlayStation 4 presentation, when uh, they show us Infamous Second Son, Killzone Shadow Fall gameplay. Uh, what else? Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy 15 cinematic. Uh, pro, uh, deep down. Oh my god. So, so many awesome games. Triple A exclusives. Triple A exclusives. Truly next gen. Truly next gen was with PlayStation 4. But here, we have usual graphic. Even worse. Even worse than uh, we could see in uh, The Last of Us Part 2. The graphics for next gen worse than the uh, current gen. How is it possible? Because of indie games, of course, of course. Ratchet and Clank looks okay, but still, it's nothing, mm, something crazy, right? Interesting teleportations, but anyway, graphics. It's possible to um, create it for PlayStation Four. Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man, I forgot about Spider-Man, Miles Morales, so, um, if it will be the PlayStation 5 exclusive, then that will be the most stupid decision Sony made, because that's not a sequel, that's spin-off, maybe a huge, big DLC, let's say. that's a spin-off big DLC for Spider-Man, if it will be PlayStation 5 exclusive, that will be the most stupid decision for Sony, and. Uh, this game, this game is not a system seller just because it's it's spin-off uh, about Miles Morales uh, with the same engine as the Spider-Man uh, 2018. They made the same engine. Come on. So th that's just they sh they tell the if if again if that will be exclusive for PlayStation 5, then the PlayStation um, and the Sony make this on purpose on purpose why why the playstation remember how the playstation 3 era ended when um, mm, developers start to do more and more mm, visually uh, greater games exclusives exclusives like horizon zero dawn god of war all this stuff and the more 
visual, the more resources. So, and that's how the PlayStation 3 era ended, because PlayStation 3 can't compete with next gen, of course. But what we see here, PlayStation 4 Pro, perfectly, perfectly can handle every every game that's been shown on this presentation. Every game. Again, answer, answer. Why you will buy PlayStation 5 if you will buy it on start? Why? If you want to buy it right after that presentation, if you wanted to buy it, probably because it's just cool looks, because of design. That's all. No other um, way to to buy this console at the start. Because the games that have been shown, that come on, that's indie, indie games. You buying console to play indie games? That could run on your previous console. That's uh, stupid. Uh, and another problem: most of the games that've been shown on the PlayStation PlayStation Five are uh, multi-platform games that will be available on all different platforms. Like well, Resident Evil Eight, Demon Souls remake. Hitman 3, anything, then okay, okay. No powerful IPs for PlayStation 5. No powerful IP. And I will not buy PlayStation 5 at the start uh, because I, I, I don't see any game that could interest, get, that could be a system seller for me. Not any game. Maybe they will show us something on next presentation. Some really awesome AAA game. Like Elden Ring or something. But again, I think all new powerful AAA projects uh, will not be available till 2021 end, I think. So, I think early 2022. We will get some cool new triple A titles. 2022. 2021, we will have some multi platform stuff and indie trash. Multi platform indie. And yeah, PlayStation 5 exclusives that you will probably you will ask yourself uh, I think this game could run on PlayStation 4 too. <laughs> that's all that's all so wait for another presentation when they will reveal the price if the price will be six hundred dollars and yo and if they will not reveal any new powerful triple a title at the start as system seller then the hell is that the sony probably already uh, the Blizzard uh, the Activision affected on Sony somehow, I think. Is yo, 600? That could be a lot. But as we could hear, PlayStation will be expensive because we, we created the most quality games, most beautiful games or something. Bullshit. At least for PlayStation 5. Because The Last of Us 2 looks way more better than everything that's been shown in this presentation. Everything. Everything. <laughs> kind of like that. So, tell me what you think about this presentation. Uh, will you buy PlayStation 5 at the start? Will you buy it... Uh, did you want to buy it right after that presentation? Or you will just wait... Hmm until the real IP will come. Kind of like that. So, if like my video, hit like button, subscribe and share. Tell me what you think. And see you next video. Bye everyone.